Why would someone pass up on a Rode NTG mic and get one of these guys by Aperture that I can't even pronounce the name? Is it DT or DT? After all, this guy's $250 and this guy's $99. Maybe the value is in the price. Look, it's not even unpacked. Let's unpack it and take a look at it. While I'm opening this guy, I want you to know that I'm currently recording on a Rode NTG mic. I really love this mic and we'll see if this one can compare. And the first thing to note is that I see that Aperture has taken a lot of inspiration when it comes to the design from the Rode NTG mic. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. Do you find any resemblance between the two? Well, maybe not now, but how about now? Well, this one, the DT one, looks a little shorter. It comes with three cables and a battery. Aha, here's the difference. The Rode NTG mic comes with a built-in rechargeable battery. The two cables are the 3.5 mm to Type-C. The shock mounts are similar, but the one on Rode NTG is a little softer, which gives it more wiggle. Let's put in the battery and take a listen to what it sounds like. By the way, this Type-C to Type-C is going to go straight into my phone. This is what the Rode NTG video mic sounds like connected straight to my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the dial set to 7 out of 15. And this is what the Aperture V Mic D4 sounds like connected straight to my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra with the setting set to negative 2. This is a blind test on purpose, so you can be the judge of which one is better, the V Mic D4 or this Rode Video Mic NTG. And which one's a better value, this one at $99 or this one at $250. Thanks Aperture for sending this microphone to me and I hope you like this unbiased review.